Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Scared to hopefully you're bringing you in our Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this story, we'll be going ahead and building HMS Warspite. HMS Warspite was a Queen Elizabeth class battleship built for the Royal Navy during the 1910s. Completed during the First World War in 1915, she was assigned to the Grand Fleet and participated in the Battle of Jutland. Other than that battle and the inclusive action of 19 of August, her service during the war generally consisted of routine patrols and training in the North Sea. During the interwar period, the ship was deployed in the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea, often serving as a flagship, and was thoroughly modernized in the mid-1930s. During the Second World War, Warspite was involved in the Norwegian Campaign in the early 1940 and was transferred to the Mediterranean later that year, where the ship participated in fleet actions against the Royal Italian Navy, while also escorting convoys and bombarding Italian troops ashore. She was damaged by a German aircraft during the Battle of Crete in mid-1941 and required six months of repairs in the United States. They were completed after the start of the Pacific War in December, and the ship sailed across the Pacific to join the Eastern Fleet in the Indian Ocean in early 1942. Warspite returned home in the mid-1943s to conduct naval gunfire support as part of the Force H during the Italian campaign. She was badly damaged by German radio-controlled guider bombs during the landings at Salerno and spent most of the next year under repair. The ship bombarded German positions during the Normandy landings and on the Waltrid Islands in 1944. Despite not being fully repaired, these actions earned her the most battle honors ever awarded to an individual ship in the Royal Navy. For this and other reasons, forced by gaining the nickname The Grand Old Lady after a comment made by Admiral Sir Andrew Cunningham in 1943 while serving on his flagship. Later on, the ship uh, was decommissioned in 1945, and Warspite ran aground under tow in 1947 on the rocks near Prussian Cove, Cornwall, and was eventually broken up nearby. So yeah, the Warspite here, a very uh, famous ship in the history of the Royal Navy, as I mentioned, one of the most decorated ships of uh, the Royal Navy of all time. Uh, so overall, really interesting ship. The ship also served in both World War I and World War II, so that makes it also a really cool ship in historical reasons. But uh, yeah, this is a redesign for the ship. I did the worst fight a very long time ago, and uh, finally kind of come back to it, re, uh, re basically building the ship, and it looks absolutely awesome. The worst part we have in front of us here is the conversion, basically the modernization, to the World War II. More specifically about the 1943 time period where it had this uh, kind of white and dark gray camouflage. I say white, but it's kind of more of an off, very light gray. Uh, it's kind of a very off white. It's it's kind of in between like light gray and white uh, color here. But I think it looks really great and again is going to make an awesome addition to any of your fleets, especially... Uh, in the Mediterranean section where we just released Roma at this tutorial, so should be a good addition in there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the ship here, see exactly what we got going on, and uh, overall, uh, see what we got going on. Uh, so starting off with, we have obviously the four turrets, so turrets uh, one, two in the front, three, four in the back. Uh, it's got it's a, kind of a classic, you know, early, uh, basically World War One battleship in the sense that it's, uh, you know, not very big compared to World War II type battleships, uh, but it does have the conning tower here, which is kind of an iconic block that just sticks up from it. We have uh, all the details here, various anti-aircraft compositions. As I mentioned, this is the modernized version, so it does contain, you know, plenty of anti-aircraft batteries and all that. Uh, the spoke stack, all that, uh, lifeboats, the cranes here, and also the catapult here for uh, seaplanes. Uh, the rear kind of uh, mast here, and obviously the rear of the ship. Overall, really nice looking ship, and I do think the camouflage really kind of brings it together and adds a whole uh, new cool look to it. Obviously, you don't have to build the camouflage, you can do it all in stone if you really want to, uh, but the camouflage just adds that extra little, you know, punch to the ship that I think really puts it all together. Anyways, that's it for the overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our first layer, and we go ahead and move it into layer one. If you're completely new to my math to build tutorials, the way I have to structure these tutorials is for the first few layers, we are going to be doing basically half on, half off, since the hole is pretty simple and it's the same thing on both sides, uh, and there's not really a whole lot going on. It's very easy for us just to go and do one side and then copy the other side over. As you can see, I have the left side already built. I'm going to build the right side, and then in between layers, you're just going to copy the left side over. It's pretty straightforward, and once we kind of get for the first few layers, it'll make sense, and then we'll be doing all the layers all together. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. 
Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing for these first few layers, just to FYI. Also, one thing I want to mention too is if you are planning on placing this on water, which I imagine most of you guys are going to want to do, you want to make sure this layer here, layer 1, is a total of one full block underneath the water surface. So you can see this blue wall here representing the water level. You want to make sure that your uh, block, or basically your layer here, starts right here so that uh, it sits correctly in the water because you obviously if you build it off one block it's going to sit too high or too low so again just make sure that's all correct um, anyways once that's all sorted out we can go ahead and get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place a long row of red concrete and this row in total is going to be 35 blocks in length like this we're going to go ahead and place down a brick upside on the stair here on the end of this row and this right here is going to be the center line here of our ship as well we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front, so uh, basically this side here. We're going to go ahead and place down a brick top side that's going to be coming off the fifth red concrete block back, followed by a brick upside down stair and a second brick upside down stair. We're going to go ahead and then take our red concrete. We're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 red concrete blocks back, followed by a brick upside down stair, a end rod. And then a birch wood slab, followed by two uh, brick walls, just like that. And then we're going to go back up to the front, and we're going to go and count back one, two, in our third red concrete block back. We're going to place down a brick top slab, cut off it to the side, followed by two brick ups downstairs. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen red concrete blocks. And then another brick up down stair, and then come off the brick up down stair to place down an end rod, and then a birch wood slab, like so, come off of it. After that, again, going up to the front here, we're going to go to our third red concrete block. We're going to place that brick top side of the side here, followed by a second one, and then two brick ups downstairs. We're going to go and then place that row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red concrete blocks, and then one, two brick ups downstairs, and then one, two brick top slabs. And once you have that done, you're going to go take the same design, copy it over to the right side, and you'll have basically what looks like this here for layer one. That right there is the base we want here for the ship. And that right there is going to conclude layer one. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. We move it into layer number two. For layer two to start off with, we're going to place down a brick wall on top of this red concrete block. And then go back from the brick wall, we're going to place down a row of red concrete in total being 36 blocks long. We're going to go ahead and place down a brick up sound stair, brick top slab, and a acacia wood trap door here on the very end. From that, we're going to go back up to the front here. We're going to go to our third and fourth red concrete blocks, we're going to place down two brick walls here to the sides, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31 red concrete blocks back, followed by a brick up down stair and a brick top slab, and then a acacia wood trap door. After that, again going up to the front here, we're going to place down a brick wall coming off this third red concrete block, a second one back, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four in total here. So again, uh, twenty four blocks, and then we're going to place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a brick top slab, and then a case wood trap door like that. Our next row here, out to the sides, we're going to go to our uh, fourth and fifth red concrete block or blocks here on the side. We're going to place down two brick walls, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen red concrete blocks back. We're going to then place down a brick up sound stair like so. A stair come off it, so the stair turns on a core stair. You have a regular stair, and then a brick top side like that. And then once that's done, we're going to take our acacia wood. Uh, Trapdoors, and we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. In case we have trapdoors right here, and they're going to be basically, there's going to be three blocks of space on both sides, just normal red concrete. So, just like that center there. And so once that's all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number 2 for the build. Here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, we're going to move into our next layer, layer number 3. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our next layer, we have layer number 3. Now layer 3 here, this is where you need to make a choice. If you want to build this all gray, you can easily do that. Uh, you can go ahead and just substitute the blocks by using stone and andesite walls, and those will work just fine. Um, however, if you are wanting to do the camouflage and do kind of like the 1943 configuration, then that's where you can go ahead and build it. So just wanted to throw that out there for those of you guys that 
Uh, do not want the camouflage, you can easily uh, just do a straight gray ship if you do want to. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a gray concrete block on top of this red concrete block, and then we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, and three blocks. So you have a total of four here on the front. We're going to go to the last two blocks. We're going to place down two brick, snow brick walls, followed by one, two, three, gray concrete blocks back, a polished diorite block like this, and then to the side here, we're going to place down a uh, a snow brick wall from off this last gray concrete block, and then we're going to place down a diorite wall directly after it. From this, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four polished diorite blocks back, and then one and two gray concrete blocks. We're going to go to the last diorite block, we're going to place a diorite wall come off the side of it, followed by two stone brick walls going back from that diorite wall. We then want to place down a gray concrete block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, of these polished diorite slabs. We're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six gray concrete blocks, a polished diorite block like that, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three diorite walls going back like so. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to take from this diorite wall and we're going to place down a row of spruce wood planks. So that's going to go all the way across. And this will be a row of five. We're going to leave that as a marker for right now, as basically everything from this row of five back, the inside here will need to be filled in with spruce wood planks uh, for the back decking. Uh, this whole space here you can leave open or you can choose to fill in, kind of up to you guys on what you want to do for that. Uh, but just know that at the very bare minimum, this row of five right here is indicating where uh, we're going to have to basically fill everything back in with spruce wood planks. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to go to this last diorite wall on the inside here and place down a polished diorite block, followed by a second polished diorite block, a diorite wall, and then we're going to go ahead and place down two snow brick walls going back from the diorite wall. Come off the two snow brick walls on the inside here and place down two gray concrete blocks, followed by a third one that sticks one past them, and then one and two snow brick walls. Between the stone brick walls here, uh, basically in the center, we're going to place down a gray concrete block, and then another one right here on top of this, this uh, acacia wood trap door. We then want to fill in the remaining space on the inside here with spruce wood planks to close this whole area off so you should have something that looks like this here for the back. Obviously once you take the right side here, copy it over to the left side, you'll have a appearance that looks like this. And again, you need to make sure that at least this portion here is filled in with spruce wood planks because this deck is visible uh, on the back here. As you can see, it kind of the hole dips down a little bit there. Um, you can choose to fill this whole space in too if you want, but just note you don't have to. Anyways, once that's all complete, we do have a few additional little bits and pieces we're going to be adding onto the sides here. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and take our skeleton schools. We're going to go ahead and go to this section here and place down two skeleton schools here on those two direct blocks. And going all the way to the front here, we're going to place down dark liquid buttons on the sides of these blocks. So one, two, one, two, and then one right there on the front. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and go toward the back here. We're going to go ahead and go, and on each one of these solid blocks, we're going to place down a dark liquid button all the way back like so. And it'll be the same thing here on both sides. And once you have that done, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for layer number three. And with that, we're going to move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. Layer four here is going to be kind of a hybrid layer. We're going to be going ahead and doing pretty much a good portion of the ship half on, half off. And then we're going to be going ahead and uh, going and doing the rear where the turrets are. And we start to get into that some of that detail in the back where we're basically do that together so uh just pay close attention and uh probably for this tutorial you're going to copy the right side over to the left side and then we'll just go ahead and basically build the rest of the layer all together so to go ahead and get started with we're going to go, to go to the front here on top of this gray concrete block we're going to place down a gray concrete block followed by one more back from it to the sides here we're going to place down a dark oak wood button on this gray concrete block and then a skeleton skull we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick upside down stair that's going to be after this skeleton school, followed by one and two great concrete blocks. Coming off the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a item frame with a crossbow in the item frame, rotate around so it's facing downwards like that for the anchor. We then want to place down a dark oak wood button on this great concrete block and then a skeleton skull on the second. Go to the side here again, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, followed by a polished diorite upside down stair, and then we want to go in and then I uh, place down a uh, polished diorite full block. So we're going to have a row of this. We're going to have a row of what is going to be four. So polished diorite full blocks, wherever this may be. There we go. And we're going to do a row of four. So one, two, three, four. And to the sides here, we're going to place down four dark open buttons. 
After that, we're going to place down your row of one, two, three, four, and five gray concrete blocks back. On the first two gray concrete blocks, we're going to place down two dark concrete buttons. And then we want to go and place down a stone brick wall that's going to come off of the fourth gray concrete block here. Coming off the stone brick wall, we're going to place down an end rod that faces forward. And then after that, we're going to go and place down a uh, diorite wall that goes back from it, followed by a polished diorite block, and then a end rod come off the side of it. We're going to place down a diorite wall again, polished diorite block, end rod come off the side here, a uh, or a diorite wall, and then a stone brick wall, and then come off the stone brick wall. We're going to place down an end rod. We then want to go and place down a gray concrete block, followed by two stone brick walls. We're going to go then place down a stone brick upside down stair. And behind the stone brick upside down stair, we have a row of five of stone brick walls, which are going to connect up to the other side of the ship. We then want to place down a stone brick wall after the stair, and then two direct walls directly after it. From this point, we're going to basically fill the space here between these direct walls. We're going to have a row of five, and we're going to basically fill the entire space here on the inside with spruce wood planks. Completely fill this whole inside in and make it a nice solid. This is going to be our deck level here for the front section. And once we have that done, uh, we're going to basically make sure we have both sides copied over at this point. So the right side is going to be copied over to the left side, all the way back to this point here. From this point, we're going to go ahead and basically start building out the whole back here, which we're going to basically do all together. So once we have that done and copied over to both sides, our ship looking like this, you're going to go and move on to the next portion of this tutorial. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next section of this uh, layer, layer 4. We're going to basically start from the back section here. Now, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a row of 3 of spruce wood planks here in the middle, followed by a snow brick wall to both sides. We then want to place down a row of 3 of grey concrete across, followed by a polished diorite block here in the center, and then a polished diorite wall to both sides. We also want to place down a snow brick, or sorry, a skeleton skull in these two spots here. And then come off the skeleton skull going forward of it, we're going to place down a Red stone repeater with the notches flicked apart like so. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down two spruce brush plates here, one, two, and one, two over there as well. From this point, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. So we're going to grab one and we're going to place down a upside down stair like so. Coming off of it, we're going to place down a gray concrete block, a polished giant stair to both sides of that gray concrete block, and then a polished or the yeah, polished diorite stair cut off toward the front. On both sides of this stair here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, and on both sides of the stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down skeleton skulls as well. From this, we're going to take our dark oak and fence gates, we're going to place down one and two, come off the stair like so, and then we're going to take our spruce wood push plates and place down one, two on these two gray concrete blocks, and safe over here, one and two. Also, on top of the uh, polished diorite or polished diorite full block, we're going to place down a trap or a uh, pressure plate and then one on top of this diorite wall. Same thing over here on this side as well. Uh, on the back section here we're going to place down a red stone repeater on top of this uh, spruce wood uh, plate just like that and then we want to go and then place down a skeleton skull after it and then one and two and rods like that for the rear there. And once we have that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer 4. The rest of this tutorial is going to be done like we just did for this section, so we're going to basically be doing everything all together. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what we should have here for layers uh, 1 through 4 so far. And with that, let's go ahead and start moving into the majority of the superstructure with layer number 5. I right, guess moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. For layer 5, we're going to get started with here. We're going to place down one and two and rods going up from this block here in the front. We're going to go ahead and then place down a redstone comparator just like this, a redstone dust piece behind it, and then two or a redstone appear like this with the notches flicked out as far as possible. We then want to go and place down a stone button on these two gray concrete blocks, and we're going to go ahead and also place down a spruce wood pressure plate here to both sides of this uh, redstone dust piece, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row 3 of skeleton skulls across, and then a skeleton skull at a slight angle here on top of these stone brick ups downstairs, so just like that. After that, we're going to go to the middle plank here to place down a dark open fence gate, open it up toward the rear. Same thing right here, fence gate opened up toward the rear. A polished diorite stair, gray concrete block, polished diorite stair to both sides of this block, and a skeleton skull on the sides of the stair. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick 
upside down stair, turn off the back of this gray concrete block, a skeleton skull to both sides of it like so. When we get to this section here, we're going to place another polished diorite full block, followed by a diorite wall to both sides just like that, and then we're going to place down a row of three of polished diorite blocks across. We're then going to go ahead and place down a row of three of gray concrete blocks, and then when we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and grab our spruce wood pressure plates. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to the front. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After this point, uh, we're going to go and then place down another row of three of gray concrete across. And we're going to go and then place down a uh, stone brick wall to both sides, like so. And actually, one quick thing here, we're going to go ahead and go to the two middle blocks here. We're going to swap these out for gray wool blocks instead, so just like that. So go ahead and continue now. We're going to take a gray concrete. We're going to do a row of three across, followed by a stone brick wall to both sides like that. We then want to take our polished diorite. We're going to go and do a row of five of polished diorite across like that. And then we want to go and do a row of five of gray concrete going all the way across as well. We're going to take our pressure plates here, we're going to place down one, two, and three on top of those two walls and this polished uh, direct full block and same thing over here as well, just like that. Uh, when we get to this point, we're going to go and take our create concrete and we're going to go do a row of five across the middle here. So we're going to skip a space and then do one, two, three, four, five. And then on both sides here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Come off the stone brick stair, we're going to go and place down a dark oak fence gate, open up for the stair itself. And we're going to go then after that place down a uh, dark oak sign here on the sides of the stair. So like that for both sides. Once that's done, uh, we're going to take our gray concrete. We're going to place down a row of three across the middle here. So one, two, three. Followed by a second row of three directly after it. And we want to go then place down a additional row of three like that right after it. So you have basically three rows of three of gray concrete. Now come off the rows of three of great concrete, we're going to go and take our iron trap doors and we're going to place down a row of three. One, two, three, like that. And then we're going to go and place down one and two spruce wood pressure plates back on that stair. Same thing over here with one, two spruce wood pressure plates. A stone brick stair coming off or after the pressure plate, followed by a dark oak fence gate coming off the faces here of the stair and a dark oak wood sign on the side here of the stair, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of polished janosite across this middle space here, followed by a stone brick up down stair to both sides of that row of three. At this point, uh, the only thing we're going to do for this section is we're going to place the stone button on top of those two stone brick ups down stairs. We're going to go ahead and skip a space back and we're going to go to this row and we're going to place down a row of three of gray concrete there across the middle. Coming off those gray concrete blocks, we're going to place down a lever like this to both sides, and then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a smooth quartz slab and place on a smooth quartz slab coming off both ends of this row of three. We're also going to take our spruce with pressure plates and we're going to place down one on top of the stone brick wall, and then one, two, and three on top of these walls. Going back, same thing over here, like so. We're then going to place down a great concrete block in the middle here, stone brick wall to both sides. We'll need to go ahead and go into our creative menu, grab ourselves a white bed and also an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on top of this uh, spruce wood plank here and we're going to place down a white bed in that item frame like so. We're then going to place down a st uh, stone brick up down stair like so followed by a gray concrete block coming off of it and a narrow stone brick stair coming off of it like that and then to the two sides here of this block we're going to place down a stone brick stair. We then want to take our skeleton schools, we're going to place them down the sides of the stairs like so and then come off this stair going toward the front, we're going to place down two dark oak wood fence gates, just like that. And after that's all complete there, uh, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer number five for the build. It's probably going to be one of our longer layers here with all the uh, setting up of the, the uh, superstructure and all that. But anyways, that's it for layer five. And with that, uh, here's an overview of what it should look like. We'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this polished diorite block. And we're going to go ahead and place down a gray concrete block after it, followed by a stone brick stair to both sides of this block, and a stone brick up stone stair come off the block like so. On both sides of the stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, 
uh, for this front stair and the back stair. Then come off the front stair, replace down two darker fence gates, open up toward the darker uh, stone brick stair like that. After that's all complete there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a um, stone brick wall, which is going to go ahead and go, um, which is going to go right here, so right in this section here. And then back from it, we're going to place down a gray concrete block. To both sides of the gray concrete block, we're going to place down a stone brick wall. We're going to then place down a polished diamond block there in the middle. A diamond wall to both sides. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a skeleton skull on top of these two stone brick walls, just like that. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a red stone repeater. Like that, with the notches flicked far apart like so. And we're going to go then place down a row of three of gray concrete across. Followed by an item frame on both sides, a white bit in the item frames, and we're going to go ahead and also place down a stone brick, or sorry, a skeleton skull on uh, top of these two blocks. Now, after that, uh, we want to go ahead and then go to this section here. We're going to place down a row of three of gray concrete blocks, or sorry, my bad, it's just going to be a row one in the middle there, and then a stone brick wall to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick slab coming off the walls like that and we're going to then take our dark oak wood signs and place down dark oak wood signs wrapped around the sides here of these stone brick slabs. To do now we're going to place down our gray concrete block, our stone brick wall with that on both sides there and then coming off the stone brick wall we're going to place down a iron trap door like that. We then want to do a row of three of gray concrete across the middle space here. Actually sorry my bad it's going to be a row of five gray concrete. And they're going to go ahead and do a row of three of gray concrete across, and then on top of this iron trap door, we're going to place down an item frame with a white bed in those item frames. Across the back here, we're going to do a row of three of polished andesite. And one thing I forgot to do from the previous layer is we do want to place down ladders on the sides of these polished andesite blocks, like this. So just like that. And uh, we're going to then place down a anvil on top of this stone brick upside down stair, like that to both sides. Uh, and we're going to leave that as is for right now. Uh, once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and come back here to this section. We're going to grab our polished diorite, and we're going to go ahead and do a row of three of polished diorite across here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone, or sorry, a skeleton school. Come off those two blocks, and we want to go ahead and also take dark oak buttons. And actually, my bad, uh, we don't have any dark oak buttons there. Uh, but anyways, after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a great concrete block here in the middle, followed by a diorite wall to both sides of the block. Going ahead and go into this turret here and place down a, a skeleton skull here to both sides, a iron trap door in the middle, and we're going to go and take our redstone up here and place our redstone up here on top of this for not just flick as far apart as possible. And that right there is going to basically do it there for uh, layer number six. Uh, here's a look at what this layer looks like from up above here, and as you can see, we start to really see the superstructure starting to come together. Anyways, that right there is again it for layer six. So with that, let's move on to layer number seven. I guess we move into our next layers, uh, our next layer will be layer seven. So for layer seven to get started with here, we're going to place down a red stone repeater on top of this uh, gray color block with the notches flicked as far apart like that as we can get them. We're then going to place down an iron trap door back from it, followed by a skeleton skull here to both sides. After that step, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall on top of this one here, followed by a gray concrete block, and then a polished diorite block directly back from it. To the sides here, we're going to place down a row of two of diorite walls to both sides here, and then on this second diorite wall, we're going to place down a dark oak sign to the side of it. After that, uh, we're going to go do a uh, stone brick upside down stair here in the middle, followed by a iron trap door to both sides of that stair. We're going to go, ahead and go to the side of the iron trap door to place down an iron frame, and in that iron frame we're going to place down a snowball for the spotlights here on the side of the conning tower. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone brick slabs across the middle space here, followed by a skeleton skull cut off the slabs here to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down a gray concrete block on top of this one in the middle here, followed by a second gray concrete block back. To the sides of the first one, on top of the snow brick wall, we're going to place down a end rod, and then we want to go ahead and take our quartz stairs. We're going to place down a quartz stair here, quartz stair coming off the stair, just like this. So two quartz stairs back to back on both sides there, and then we're going to place down a acacia wood slab 
come up the stairs like so. To the side of the stairs here on this iron trap door and place down a skeleton skull here to both sides. And then after that we're going to grab ourselves a lever. We're going to place that lever on top of this great concrete block facing toward the outside like so. The middle space here we're going to place down a cache wood slab. Court stair. There's a stair coming off the back of it like that so you have those two stairs like so. And uh, we're going to then take our uh, birchwood signs and we're going to wrap birchwood signs around the front and sides here of the stair like so. On top of the uh, anvils here, we're going to place down an end rod going up like that. We're going to go and then take our Arabic slabs, we're going to place down an Arabic slab, cut off the end rod, and then an Arabic top slab like that going up from it. So, just like that. And after that's all done there, uh, we're going to go and then grab a end rod, or sorry, not an end rod, but an iron bar. We're going to place an iron bar coming off the two slabs like so. For this back section here, we're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of that center block there. And then we're going to go and grab our redstone repeaters and place that redstone repeater to both sides with the notches spread apart just like that. And we're going to go and then place down a stone brick stair coming off of it like that. And then skeleton schools here to both sides of the stair like that. And with that all out of the way, that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number seven. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number 8. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here, to place down a great concrete block on top of this stone brick wall here. To both sides of that, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull. Come off the side of the block facing toward the front, we're going to place down an iron frame and a black bed in the iron frame like so. And we're going to go ahead and then take a dark liquid sign, and we're going to place it down here on the side of the block. After that we're going to place down another great concrete block here in the middle followed by a polished direct upside down stair to both sides here and then come off the face of the stair here and place down a dark oak wood sign. After that we're going to place down a polished direct block here in the center followed by a direct wall to both sides and a dark oak wood sign here on the sides of those walls. We then want to go ahead and place down a gray concrete block which is going to be Coming off these two direct walls here to both sides, and in the middle space here, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod on top of that stone brick up down stair. On top of these two skeleton skulls here, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod going up like so on both sides, like that. We then want to place down a row of three of gray concrete, or sorry, row of two gray concrete, actually, sorry, just a one block, and then a polished direct full block directly after it. We're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door here to the side. We're going to go ahead and grab our item frames, place down our item frame to the side of the trap door, and in the item frame, just like we did up here, we're going to place down a snowball. And same thing over here, just like that. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark liquid sign on the side of this iron trap door, and then a dark liquid sign over here on the side of this one as well. So after that, uh, we also want to grab tripwire hooks, and there's also going to be tripwire hooks on these two. Uh, great concrete blocks. So uh, after that, uh, we're gonna go move ahead and move back to these cranes, and we're gonna go and place down a uh, wither skeleton skull on top of these two end rods, and we're gonna then take our barrier blocks and place down one and two barrier blocks coming off that skeleton skull, and to the outside here, the barrier blocks we're gonna place down two stone buttons, so just like this, and then coming off of our barrier block here, we're gonna place down a dark liquid slab to both sides. After that, we're going to take our end rods. Uh, we're going to place that end rod here on top of this stone brick wall. And uh, that right there is going to basically wrap what we have there for layer number 8. With that, we're going to go ahead and move into our final layers here. So layers 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And we're going to basically just uh, finish off the uh, build and put our final layers onto it. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers. Moving on to our uh, last final layers, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and moving to the top of the coin tower. We're going to place down two of these daylight detectors here on top, a dark oak wood side coming off the first daylight detector like that. And then we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off both sides of the daylight detector like so. From that we're going to place down a lever on top of those two polished um, a, a, a polished direct upside down stairs and then a item frame to the sides here of this daylight detector. Once uh, that's all complete, we're going to go ahead and place down a furnace here, 
in the center. And we want to go ahead and go to the sides of the furnace. We're going to place down a skeleton spool here to both sides like that. Uh, we're going to then place down a end rod on top of this one right here, followed by a narrow brick fence post. And then coming off the narrow brick fence post, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate here, opened up toward the fence post like that on the front, followed by one and two end rods to both sides of this narrow brick fence post, just like that. And then going up from the fence post, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall. So, right on top of it, like so. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull that goes back from the stone brick wall, and also a wither skeleton skull coming off the uh, narrow brick fence post. And then to both sides of this, coming off these two end rods, we're going to place down an end rod on both sides of that uh, wither skeleton skull. Up on top here, we're going to go to the skeleton skull, we're going to place down one. Uh, and two uh, end rods up like that and then we're going to place down an end rod coming up both sides of the first one and we want to go then place down an end rod here on top just like that and after that's all complete there uh, that's for our front mast that's done uh, we want to go and then go to our uh, smokestack here we're going to place down two narrow brick slabs on top of it and then going back to our rear mast uh, from this end rod we're going to place down one two three uh, end rods up like this and then we're going to place down a row of three of iron trap or iron bars across just like that and then we're going to go and go down to this third end rod up and to the both sides of it we're going to place down a uh, end rod like so. After that the last thing for us to do here is just do some basic rigging so for this we're going to go ahead and grab barrier blocks and stone buns we're going to go to the end rod up front here we're going to place down one two three four and five back and then from this end rod right here, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to take our arm, or sorry, our stone buttons and place them down here on the sides here to go and make the rigging. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. And then again, stone buttons here on the sides, just like that. And after that's all complete there, that is going to basically. Uh, wrap up what we have there for the rigging and with that that's going to wrap up our final layers and complete uh, our nice redesign here for the HMS War Spite. Anyways guys, hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put to good use. If you want to use this build, I do ask you guys to be proper credit for this. Give me from the side of the build to my channel or this video. This is bringing social media sites. Just be sure you get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for. We'll do these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. Um, other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been great to before, and I'll see you guys next time.